Oh boy, Gaspar Noé has shown up for the challenge. If you don't know who Gaspar Noé is, he's an Argentinian French filmmaker who really tries to push the boundaries of film. Films like Irreversible, Enter the Void, Climax, and others have put him into my list of favorite filmmakers. Like, every time I watch one of his films, whether if, if I like the film or not, I'm getting a unique experience that only Gaspar would be able to produce. It's very experimental and very uncompromising, and Vortex is definitely no different. Vortex is from 2022, starring Dario Argento. Yes that Dario Gento, who we might be making another appearance later on, and Francois Le Brun. I hope I'm saying that name right. Together, they are an elderly couple dealing with health problems. The husband is dealing with heart issues, and his wife is dealing with dementia. And boy, howdy, was this one not fun to watch. I want to talk about probably the most noticeable thing about the film, and that is pretty much almost the entire film is shot in split screen. This is something that Gaspar experimented with in Lux Eterna, which is worth a recommendation. Just be forewarned, it will literally try to kill you with strobe lights. I thought with Lux it was like a super interesting visual style and one that was surprisingly easy to follow along with. With Vortex though it really does seem like Gaspar had kind of mastered this style. The film feels seamless in his choice to shoot the film like this. You have one side of the screen as Dario Argento's character and the other side as Francois Lebrun's character and the film kind of lets you decide on who you want to follow and while it's easy to follow both I did find myself naturally watching Dario's side more on the screen. The film presents two Two living narratives that survive in its authenticity. Both leads Dario and Francois are performed expertly, and the way the characters are written and function, it's really hard not to get attached to them, which makes the spiral toward the end really hard to watch. There's other films out there that deal with dementia like The Father, but what's interesting about the point of this film is that you see both sides of the story simultaneously as you watch Francois's character live in an, like this uncertain world, and you see Dario's character dealing with it along with kind of dealing with his own life. Both parties almost feel separated which is enhanced by the choice to split the screen literally down the middle. Not only is it visually interesting but it also serves a purpose to the narrative. Now, I will say the film for the first 40 to 50 minutes I was just blown away with but there is this chunk in the middle that really dragged on. I felt like there were some moments that could have just been trimmed down or personally I just didn't like some of the subplots spent with their son. It's fine when he's interacting with them but there's moments or backstory on the son that felt like it kind of broke down the pacing and added somewhat of an unneeded edge to the film because the sun well let's just say has uh has some habit choices so though i really enjoyed the film and felt like i got a genuine and unique experience from it it's kind of a case study and visual presentation it's really well shot and the performances are great as well there's a real sense of meticulousness that comes to the actual shooting of the film i kind of feel somewhat unmatched this is also one of the films that could go up or down on a second watch but i will be giving it a, a second watch when i feel like being devastated again and i'm giving this one a seven and a half out of ten.